Last season on Oklahoma Gardening, we demonstrated a variety of alternative chemical applications to manage pests in the landscape, including insects, slugs, and diseases. These included microbial and botanical insecticides and uh, fungicides that are derived from natural products. We also demonstrated how to release insect predators into the landscape to manage pests. These alternative chemicals and the biological control or release of insect predators are two tools that are part of a bigger pest management system called IPM or Integrated Pest Management. I like to think of IPM as a set of tools in a toolbox and I'm going to break those up into different categories. The first is our cultural controls, how we raise our plants. That starts with the species that we select to put in our garden, the fertilizer and water and other types of care that we give those plants to maintain them. The next set are mechanical and physical controls, and these include barriers or traps that we might use to protect our plants, but even simple techniques such as hand weeding or pulling insects off of plants to manage these pests. The next set of tools are the biological controls, and this is the use of predators and other beneficial insects or diseases to manage pests in the landscape. And then finally, we have chemical controls. And most gardeners are fairly familiar with chemical controls, but in an IPM system, we want to focus on minimizing their use, using them only when necessary, and then also selecting those that are the least harmful to beneficial insects, as well as the overall health of humans and the environment. Well, here in the gardens, we're establishing a new planting. This is our IPM demonstration garden. It's just getting underway. But we've designed this to be able to showcase a wide variety of these IPM strategies throughout the season. And I'm very proud to join a team of scientists on the IPM Oklahoma grant. This is a grant supported by the National Institute of Food and Agriculture. And the diverse scientists in this group are going to teach uh, the people of Oklahoma ways to use IPM in their gardens, in professional situations such as greenhouses, as well as in schools. So it's a wonderful program and a great opportunity for us. Well, this project also carries a special significance to me. A few years ago, my mentor, Bob O'Neill, died from cancer. And when I was talking about this with a mutual friend and colleague of ours, uh, I expressed my frustrations and my desire to do more to fight cancer. And our friend said, Kim, you already are doing your part. You're helping gardeners learn how to grow healthier food and create healthier environments in which to live. And his words really meant a great deal to me and have helped inspire me in my professional career. And so I'm hoping throughout this season to share with you a bit of my passion uh, and my gardening philosophy about creating a healthier environment in our own backyards.